Papa. <laughs> what took so long? What, no thank you? Thank you, dear. Mm, well, you're huh. welcome, sweetie. And if you must know, I got talking to Mike in the kitchen. I'm not jealous, are you? No. I mean, if that's your type, go for it. Pretty, you know <laughs> Get to the top. Hey, hold your alcohol, you douche! You're so mean. Oh, come on, he deserved it. I mean, the way he was flirting with you earlier. Hey, Alex, where do you find these guys? He seemed cool at work. Oh, he seemed cool. <laughs> Don't worry, he doesn't hold a candle to you. Oh, true love. <laughs> well, she is my wifey, you know. Oh, it's because she burns the pasta. I do not. Oh, just this is Alex's <laughs> couch. Stop. Okay, fine. You want to go? <laughs> Guys, grab a drink now. You got 30 seconds. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh my God. Ah! Okay? Yeah. Want some water? Sure, thanks. just caught up with me. Did I uh, at least get to make out with someone before you had to haul my drunk ass up here? Am I that forgettable? Kidding. Besides, I thought you and... No. You know she's into you, right? She says she's straight. <laughs> right. And I know you're totally into her anyway, so why not? I can't ask her to. I don't know, maybe someday. Anyway, do you want me to make some room for you up here? Good down here. Just wanted to make sure you weren't concussed. Thanks. So lame. That drunk asshole, the bald one, <laughs> passed out in the bathroom. It lasts longer than he did. Oh, thanks. What? Nothing. See ya. Yeah. Just want tonight to be fun. Good memory. No drama or stress, you know? Don't worry about it. You didn't cause drama or stress. We all get wasted sometimes. Yeah, I guess. Thanks for picking up my drunk ass. Anytime. Get some sleep. Thank you so much, Doctor. I was so lucky to have met you. You're welcome, Amy. Keep me up to date on your schoolwork. Say hi to your mom for me. I will. Good luck. I'd actually love Charlie. Good morning, Lucy. How are you feeling? Fine. But you're asking me to sit, so I'm guessing I'm not. I'm sorry. But what we discussed at your visit last month, your cancer is back. <laughs> what, so you can cure that chick that just walked out of here, but you can't cure me? 
I'm sorry, Charlie. I got a second opinion from another oncologist sneaking Man, out. I thought everyone be cancer these days. It's like Botox, everyone gets it, right? Sorry. I really wish you would find some friends you can talk to and trust. Have a support What's the system. point? Just depress everyone by being that chick with cancer? <sighs> Fall in love with someone just so they can sit by and feel helpless when I have to do chemo again and go in for surgeries and there's nothing that they can do to fix me? I understand. And I will do everything I can to help you. But this kind of cancer that you have, it, it's, it's in your brain. And it's invasive. And I know you like to be told everything, so the prognosis with this kind of cancer, even with treatment, is one to two years. Now, this is a lot of information for you to take in, and you don't have to make any decisions right now. I mean, we can try the chemotherapy, the, the surgery, I mean, the course of action, as soon as you know, is that the No. feeling good. I knew that it was too good to be true. You have been through so much already. Okay, I'm going to do everything I can to help you. Okay? I just want a chance to be happy for once. I forgot. I was good to go until 20 minutes ago when a headache kicked in. It's just a stupid weather-related thing. Could have texted to cancel. We could still do a movie night here if you want. I just, I can't deal with getting dressed. Are you sure? We can let you rest. You just want me to cook dinner for you again. I'm on to your evil little plans. Sorry, what? No, no, no food, not hungry. Food, bad. <laughs> I was just teasing. Are you okay? I'm fine. I know you're fine, but I'm worried about you. Hey, I could be knocked up. I've been puking too. We're just gonna go. Hey, have you ever been laid by a guy this month? No. I was gonna say, have you been to see a doctor? It's just a headache. I'll be fine, I promise. You know, you make it really hard to take care of you sometimes. And yet you're still here. For now. I want to do it on my terms. Charlie. I meant what I said. Everything that I've been reading on this says that I maybe get a year, two, three, if I'm really lucky. No. I want to die on my terms. OK. You're sure? No chemotherapy, no surgery. It's gonna cure me? Well, I appreciate you coming to me first before you did something rash and impulsive. And I respect where you're coming from. I wouldn't want to deal with the traditional options either if I were you. I said I was going to help you. And I will. So this is my favorite place. Even in this weather. <laughs> yeah. 
Listen, I, I brought you here because I have something big that I need to tell you. Please just listen until I'm done and please don't tell anyone else yet, okay? I'm, I'm sick. I have cancer. I'm doing what I need to to treat it and be okay, but it isn't conventional treatment. I had cancer three and a half years ago, about the time that we met, which is why I disappeared back when I got chemo the first time. It went into remission, but now the cancer is back and it's worse. It's a joke, right? Oh my god. You're serious? Did I... I thought... Walk with me. I wish I had brought you here sooner. So, what are we gonna do? I've been seeing a good doctor helping me. Do you, um, do you want me to come to treatments with you? Yes, but I'm not doing chemo this time or surgeries. I'm taking my fate into my own hands. Charlie, you can't be saying I what I think you're saying. I can't sit around and wait to die That's either. not fucking fair. No, it's not, but you said you trusted me. Do you have any idea how selfish that sounds? Making someone go through pointless treatments that might give them a few extra weeks to live just because you don't want to see them die is selfish too. Tomorrow? I, I, what do you want? Trust me. Please. I'm not gonna lie. I'm scared as fuck. And I know I'm selfish, but I want you there. Please? God, you just dump all this on my lap and expect me to say yes? Oh, this is so fucking incredible. I'm sorry. I know you're sorry. You keep telling me that. When I, when I got cancer the first time, I didn't tell anyone. I didn't want to be that girl that people felt sorry for. I didn't want to fuck up someone else's life by dying on them. Oh, but it's okay to fuck up mine. I, that's, I didn't. You know what I thought? I thought that maybe you were just getting weirded out by how close we were getting. That you were pulling back because I was. And I thought that when you asked me here to talk today, maybe you'd confess your feelings for me or something. And I thought, if she asks, if she asks, I'll say yes. Because it's you. Because now that I've met you, I don't know how to be without you. I've never trusted anybody as much as I trust you. Ever. I didn't want to push you away asking for too much. How long have you known? No, 
I felt about you? No. About the cancer. This time. The second week of January. January? I didn't January. Want... It's all these, it's just a headache. That was you lying to my fucking face? She's not coming. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. It's not like we were. I guess I just finally pushed her away. Do you want to wait? My dad used to say that people who love you would never make you wait a second longer than you needed to to be together. He wasn't around time for anything. I guess she hates me now. Just do it. At least she knows how I feel about her. I finally had the guts for something. Okay. I'm gonna give you a sedative first, okay? And help relax the body. Thanks. If you want to stop or take a break before we do it, make it fast. It's not like I'm alone. You're here. Okay. You've killed her! No, 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 no! I took an oath and I'm here to help. God damn it, you've killed her!
you came. Of course I came. You asked. I, I thought. I thought you were. No. No, I believe in a person's right to die with dignity, but this. This is different. This is. This is a second chance in extreme circumstances. I. I thought. It's respecting a person's right to life. Not every doctor practices that, but I do. Charlie, we're gonna have to do an MRI to make sure, but you're responding really well to this treatment. The next few days is gonna be really rough, though, as your body purges the tumor, okay? want me for these awesome drugs. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> August 25th. I'm pleased to report that patient 1017CS is in full remission. At six and a half months from treatment, there is no trace of the initial prognosis of diffuse glioblastoma multiform, which originally presented in the right temporal lobe as of January 4th this year. I'll make further observation after the patient's next visit in three months' time, but I'm confident that the RESET program has diminished risk of reoccurrence to less than 0.0001%. <laughs> Today I learned of our colleague EM's recent abduction. They are the third doctor in as many months to be captured and disappeared. With our perfect success rate, we are facing increasingly hostile efforts from outside forces to discover and shut down the reset program. All this for the sake of pharmaceutical profits at the expense of human lives. May I enjoy life in art, be respected while I live, and remembered with affection thereafter. How could you love me when my fridge is a science experiment? How could you love me when my dishes ain't seem to have holes in them how could you love me when my clothes hate my drawers but i'll make you laugh in the depths of the winter's blues and i'll help you smile when you're sure you don't want to It's what we're waiting through I'll stay next to you When I run, I want to see you running When I laugh, I want to hear you laughing Honey, I'm still free, take a chance on